Continue our team coverage of today's top story, the investigation into former group home owner Jamaro Dantzler, now charged with raping a 15-year-old boy. CBS 58 first broke the story about the 37-year-old who ran the Rites of Passage Living Center in Brown Deer. We told you that last night, and we told you about how other victims have come forward. They spoke with us on the news at 10 with their accusations against Dantzler. Early today, Dantzler made his first court appearance. We'll have more on that in a moment, but first, Brown Deer and Milwaukee Police just completed a news conference with new information. CBS 58 Sarah Barwatz joins us live in Brown Deer with that part of the story. Sarah? Come forward and let people help you. That's the message that Brown Deer Police were sending to other possible victims here at a press conference that just wrapped up. Now the police department tells us that they've set up a national hotline with the missing and exploited children. CBS 58 first broke the story and potential victims have personally called our station from other states claiming that they were also a victim at Dantzler's Home for Boys. After bringing the information to police, they're asking any other victims affected by Dantzler to call this number on your screen 1-800-THE-LOST or you can give a tip online the tip line is missingkids.org now dancer was released on a five thousand dollar bail paying five hundred dollars or ten percent ten percent we asked police if they're concerned about him being free. They said if all the allegations are true, he would likely only contact boys he knows personally. They say their top priority is helping other victims out there. We don't know where they may be. So it's very important for us to get this message out to potential victims on where they can call and who they can reach out to. Dancer's Boys Home Rites of Passage has been shut down. Now, again, if you need that number, it's 1-800-THE-LOST. Again, if you are a potential victim, call 1-800-THE-LOST. Reporting live here in Brown Deer, Sarah Barwatz, CBS 58 News. Sarah, thank you. As we mentioned earlier, Dantzler appeared in court early today. After the appearance, he left the courtroom free on $5,000 bail. CBS 58's David Aid is here with more on what was revealed at that hearing. David, what did you learn? Well, Michelle and Mike, the victim told police that was that he was walking home on Brown Deer Road when Dantzler approached him with a gun, led him into a vacant parking lot, ordered him to the ground, and raped him. According to the criminal complaint, after the assault was over, Dantzler handed the boy two $20 bills. About a month later, Dantzler sent the boy a Facebook friend request, which led to police which led police to arrest Dantzler. Since CBS 58 first brought you this story, men from a group home run by Dantzler came forward and accused Dantzler of assaulting them. In court today, prosecutors used a copy of our story to try and argue for a higher bail. Since this case um, uh, was reported in the media, uh, the state has become aware of potential additional victims of sexual assault. I was contacted by an additional victim um, who has reported uh, a sexual assault um, of sexual intercourse. The state is pursuing that and um, will be meeting with that victim um, later today. So Court Commissioner Barry Phillips did not raise Dancer's $5,000 bail, saying he would consider it if more charges are brought against Dantzler. David, thank you. It started with our report about the arrest of a former group home operator who police say raped a teenage boy at gunpoint. It has now mushroomed into a countrywide search for other potential victims of Jamaro Dantzler, who according to sources would allegedly bribe and intimidate victims or witnesses to keep them quiet. Unfortunately, we know this can happen anywhere to any child. CBS 58's Josh Landon with expert advice on how to get your kid to talk. Josh. Michelle, good evening. Experts on sexual assault tell me it can be even worse when a boy has been raped because of a long-lasting stigma. CBS 58 is working to learn more details about the rape charges involving Jamaro Dantzler. Meanwhile, experts say his alleged 15-year-old victim may still be recovering physically and mentally. That this young man told somebody is incredible. Why is it incredible? Because boys don't usually come forward. They're, there's so much stigma about um, that they may be gay or that there's something wrong with them, especially if they're raped by a same-sex uh, perpetrator. Kathy Rainey works directly with sexual assault victims at Pathfinders Milwaukee. 
She says the warning signs and approach are different between boys and girls. A girl will be continue to have the symptom of looking withdrawn and and depressed, whereas boys more, are more likely to act out and look angry and mad. With the child, it's important to be tactful. You might have to ask them questions like, did, did someone touch you in your swimsuit area? Um, did someone do something you didn't like? But you may need to be blunt with a teenager. Where you could easily just say, D did someone hurt you? What, what happened? I'm noticing a difference. The executive director of Aurora Healthcare backs Rainey's theory of the stigma surrounding male victims. There were times in our history where people, um, social services would go in and they'd ask the family, uh, you know, is sexual abuse happening? And they'd only ask the little girls and not even ask the little boys. Now, according to the CDC, one in every six boys have been sexually abused before the age of 18 and approximately 1.8 million kids across the U.S. have been abused as well. Live in Milwaukee, Josh Landon, CBS 58 News.